It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we're going to be playing some World Zomba Nation. Now I thought a good way to bring it back would be to go ahead and cover the 3.8 update, which I want to say came out eight days ago, something around there, but it was pretty minor. They called it the overhaul apocalypse basically. So it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, but it's pretty much all benefits the game pretty much. So one of the features that pretty much stood out to me right away was the option to change your unit perks. So I'm just going to go ahead and read off the release notes really quick. Want to change your strategy or try something new with your units? Now you can change your unit's perks. So that's been a community requested change or addition to the game for a really long time, ever since the perks were actually introduced. And I remember that if you had a level, say you had a level 50 unit and you want to change your perks, but for some reason the first perk was kind of already chosen for you and you couldn't change it. Well, now you can actually change it. So you can kind of try out new things, new strategies, and it'll add a lot more diversity to gameplay and stuff like that i think it's gonna be really cool so let me go ahead and go into my team really quick and give us a shot i haven't tried this just yet because i thought i'd save it for the video but if we go to all units here um let's say i want to change that so you can change perk for change the perk for 150 coins it is a lot of money so it's not going to be a just kind of free here i want to try this i want to just go ahead and change it now for free no you're gonna actually have to pay for it, which i understand um because if you just were to be able to, would eh, if you would be able to change it just whenever you want, it'd just be kind of troublesome, you could say. But I'm glad they implemented that in. I'm sure it was a ton of work to actually fix and add in. But yeah, 150 coins, which I want to say. Let me go and see how much would that cost if I wanted to buy that. So let's say we want to buy 600 coins. Well, I just can't even purchase it. Just I guess I can't buy anything at all. That's just probably my thing. Messed up on my end, but. I don't think it'd be a ton of money. I have no idea why this isn't working. I will throw it up in the video in the back end. But yeah, so it's going to cost you a couple coins, but it'll be worth it for a lot of you guys who have had this game like pre-beta and well around during the beta and things like that. So it's a great addition. I think everyone's going to love it. So another addition here would be the new guild rank, which would be raid leader. So this is going to allow the raid leaders are going to be able to start raids, but not access any of the other guilds resources and things like that. So it's going to add a lot more flexibility into the guild structure and things like that. And it's going to let you just kind of tinker more as a leader to help kind of diversify the guild, make it more accessible to other players. Uh, be able to start raids and stuff like that. It was kind of the hierarchy of the whole guild is just going to be more diverse and a lot more fun to play with as a team. So, you know, you can work your way up to raid leader and things like that. So that's a really cool addition. Uh, if I say I wanted to go into my guild right here, it's pretty low key. We're not, you know, playing that much anymore, but in the past we were. But say I wanted to go ahead and make Legion a raid leader, promote him and ew, not leader. But yeah, you can just kind of, play with that and make raid leaders and things like that there's a lot of new things in here that i haven't really touched on in past video but say you got you got perks and all that stuff you have tons of new features here but we won't cover in that in this video today but maybe some other time but i'm just gonna go ahead and read through the bug fixes and balance changes really quick so lowered insane quick fight requirements from it for from vancouver through lima vancouver insane missions now give you give out proper rewards Featured packs give out proper units in the case of unlucky rolls. Mini gunner families bombard perk lowers cooldown to one second. Brain freeze families buff duration increased to five seconds. Rainmaker's family tentacle HP increased to 500%. Mistress family always stuns for 1.5 seconds. The submission perk stun is now four seconds. Mistress family safe ward perk during increased uh, duration is increased to three seconds. So. Those are a couple of the bug fixes and balance changes. Now, there are additional pre-release hot fixes and things like that. Um, I'll let y'all go ahead and go through those on your own if you're interested in those. But basically, this was a mega back-end overhaul, overhaul apocalypse, as called by the proletariat team. So, it's pretty crazy. So, not a ton of changes, but the perk one is a welcomed addition to the game. I'm not complaining at all. I'll be playing around with that if I can get more than 11 coins eventually. But... As we come to an end of the update roundup, I say we go ahead and play a quick game really quick to just round this up. And I say, we, I was going to think, I was thinking about playing Bogota because I don't think I've played Bogota too much just yet on this channel. I think I'll cover it a little bit more later on, but I say we give it a shot. I'm good. Can I unlock it? Do I even have enough gold bars? I don't. I'll do that next time. 
that's going to be something I'm going to work on. I'm going to play Bogota for y'all. That's going to be in a future video. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and just kind of play a classic. Do we have any faction wars going on? Not right now. I have to be level 20, below level 20. Okay. Well, we're going to play some PvP in the meantime. Wow, I'm really low. I need to get after it a little bit more. Okay, fight. I'm going to see if I can revenge anyone that's taking a lot of stuff from me. Nope, not really. All right, let's go ahead and fight here. Bring up, bring out my squad right here. My reward is 45 crates. I'll take it. Who are we playing? Taruka. All right, guys, here we go. Game time. First playthrough of the return. Am I going to be rusty? I don't know, but we're going to find out. All right, here we go. So, let's see what's going to be coming at us. We got a lot of Brutish and Goliaths Goliath coming on to the left side. We got some delivery men or harbingers, Dr. Zombowitz. We got some runners, morticians, things like that. Nothing too crazy. I think it'll be pretty manageable, but we do have those two objective points we got to defend. Let me go ahead and start off by focusing over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw down one of my fire chiefs. And do I have any snipers with me? I don't. Okay, I'm going to throw my Desperado down. Just kind of focus, be my sniper for this little level here. And let's throw down a commando. We're going to pretty much heavily fortify that one a good bit. And then over here is a little bit trickier. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this guy back. I'm going to focus a lot of this. Just kind of, kind of funnel everyone into my machine gunner pretty much. That's my destructor. But my machine gunner is going to go over here. My Captain Zeta. I'm going to throw in my Fire Chief and Merc over there to really focus on that end. And we're going to leave these guys to defend on the left side here. And as my uh, troops regen and things like that, we'll kind of fill in as needed. But let's go ahead and start the waves here. Focus in on this zone right here. Go ahead and send them. The waves have begun. So, so far just a couple of drones. Nothing too crazy. Pretty manageable. So, I'm really going to be heavily relying on my Desperado to take out those Brutes and Goliaths. They're going to be coming down the lane here. But they shouldn't be too much to worry about. Not going to lie. Um, Fire Chief's taking a lot of damage up there. I'm going to throw down one more there. And where are we going to be getting our next couple groups here? All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another fire chief there just to help take a lot of the damage for me because I'm really going to be relying on my machine gunner back here to take, uh, just deal the most damage and everything like that. I'm going to go ahead and throw a desperado as well to kind of help deal with some of these goliaths and things like that. But other than that, we should be pretty darn good. Over here, I'm going to go ahead and just fortify so much over here. I'm just going to throw down pretty much every guy I got two it looks like I got a merc I got a scatter shot two fire chiefs and a commando and we are pretty darn set so this is pretty much where a lot of the action is going to be gone I'm pretty confident on the left side over there I'm gonna go ahead and drop a stim z really quick to just give my guys a bit of a boost looks like my two fire chiefs are running a little bit low on uh health here could have brought an emt that probably would have been pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and replace this guy and just these guys in just a second I'm gonna go ahead and send these waves so we can get a bit of a time bonus and everything like that so once my, I'm, I kind of want my fire chief just to go down already because, oh Lord, that's a big one. Come on, go down for me. All right, there we go. Go ahead and replace him really quick. See how everything's going over here. I'm going to go ahead and drop a Molotov cocktail over here because Dr. Zombowitz just going to town. He's just going straight for that objective. You cannot, I'm not going to let you take it. How are we doing over here? All right, it's getting a little hairy, but I'm going to go throw down my second machine gun. That's pretty much going to lock down that area over there. Dr. Zombowitz goes down over there. Just got a couple more drones, and we will be pretty good to go, I think. Down they go. Who's left? Is there anyone left? What are you doing over here? <laughs> Hello, friend. So long. <laughs> I guess you just didn't feel like going in. If you didn't want to feel the wrath. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. So, plus 14. We did pretty darn good. 363 plus 18. Looks like we lost some points on our survival bonus, not the end of the world, but we did, we were perfect everywhere else, so I'll take it. Let's go ahead and continue, show my rewards real quick. Got some crates, got a Merc, I'll take it. Don't fill up on bread, that's Thanksgiving, but I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Just saying, I hope you enjoyed the little uh, Christmas special, some snow line, but that's going to go ahead and conclude, oh, don't look at that, that's old. <laughs> that's going to go ahead and conclude our... 3.8 update overview i do hope you guys enjoyed it not too much not too many big changes but the small changes do count in my book so guys thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you guys in the next episode see you guys